In this step, we are going to add an existing demo backend so that you don't have to code it by yourself. This is not that much about Vadin, but it's just plain Java, but it's going to be really useful in further steps of the tutorial. You'll find this backend at vadin.com slash tutorial. Look for the step number three, adding a demo backend, and you should see these three links, customer status, customer, and customer service. We have to copy these three Java classes to our project. One easy way of doing it is by selecting the text, copying, and pasting it directly in Eclipse. And the same for the other two classes. Right, what we have now is a customer status enumeration, a customer class encapsulating data with getters and setters. In real world scenarios, this could be, for example, a JPA entity. And finally, we have a customer service class with methods to load and save customers. Again, in real-world scenarios, this class would most likely be a Spring Bing or EJB or any other kind of service class acting as the entry point to your database. All right, that was a very quick step, but very useful as well, because we are going to use this backend in further steps of the tutorial.